Hey, what's going on, everybody? How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's doing well. It's been a uh, quite a while since I've seen everybody, so it's good to see everybody back in live streams. Already got uh, 60 some or 70 some actually just updated now. So, it's, what's up, man? Crazy Butter, what's up, man? Oh, everybody's uh, got a little two now. <laughs> They're good, man. They're good. Game Bus fan, what's going on? Green Gamer, how are you, man? Glennix, good to see you there, buddy. Bud Goodrow in the house. What's up there, Mr. Bud? Joe, we got Jeremy Big Country, Midwest Steven. Good to see you there, NPF Delta 4. 20 we got random in this game and what's going on man jordan be back in five you put a link in the truck in the description nah wouldn't matter nobody would buy it anyway so it's all right man alex trucker what's up man graham greg what's up how are you buddy hope you're doing well mike good to see you mike there big country in the house chris knight what's up man ryan chris what's up how are you man cody white dragon good good oh, afternoon it's good evening for me <laughs> case car what's up man well thank you there glenn appreciate it man I appreciate it. Gaming Buzz fan, Will Cam. No, I didn't set up a proper Will Cam. I'll do that on the next one just for you, man. Amber, is that Amaral? Trucking Supervises? Services? Services spelled wrong? Okay. All right, I'm going to play this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to this one. This is a pretty jam up tune, too. I don't like much dubstep. Let me be honest. I like I like the house stuff a little bit more than I do the dubstep, but some of the stuff's actually pretty good. So, what's up there, Andrew? How are you, man? Jordan, good to see you, man. Yes, gaming. We will set you. We'll set you up a uh, nice and on the next one. Zach Hall, what's going on, man? How are you, man? Shane Brown, good to see you there. I hope you guys are doing well. well. We got 40 seconds, so we got some cool stuff, man. I got some new info to tell you guys. Uh, we've also got a brand new truck today, which is going to be exciting. I uh, have not driven this truck. Uh, you may have seen it through some Facebook groups or whatnot, if you remember those, but. Um, it is, uh, yes, I'm excited about this truck. It's a good one, man. Oh, it was a G GTMT team. Hello from Go Get the Money Team Apparel from Newport, Tennessee. Ryan, okay, you can go get my apparel too. My, my, my money team apparel is pretty good too, man. <laughs> What's up, Jared Brooks? How are you, man? All oh, nice there, Chris. What was it? What? Oh, nice, man. Yeah, see, that's a jam up, man. Isaac, what's up, buddy? Oh, man, we're already there, man. Yeah, it's going to be lit, Pete Nation. <laughs> He's like, well, I'll cheer for a Freightliner. Whatever, man. It's all good. It's cool. Yeah, I'd see there, Trevor. All right, man. I might just let I might. You know what? I'm just, I'm just going to pull this back up and let it play a little bit uh, when we get to the intro. Full team and merch store is active. Teespring.com. Forward slash Full Sales Gaming. We'll be back. Alright, there we are. So I'm gonna leave this. I'm gonna leave this playing a little bit. So as you can see, real quick, man, uh, I am going to get through as much of this as fast as I possibly can. And that's probably a little bit loud. Let me let me run that down just a little bit. Okay. Alright, so as you can see, we've got the new truck in the house. We also got the trailer from Bart's. So um so I've got a new one there for you, bud. Um, now this one can actually be done by anyone. So type in exclamation mod. Uh Chuck, what's going on, buddy? How are you man? Uh, so, uh, exclamation mod will give you the actual truck. And if you want the trailer that we're going to be at least spending the most time with today, that is exclamation trailer. And it is a cooldown, so you can't just spam it. So once it goes up, it's got about a 10 minute cooldown, uh, and it should uh, throw it back up here in the next couple of seconds. We'll see if it does there. Friendly sidecar. Ah, there you go. There it is. So the hashtag trailer or exclamation trailer. So you can grab it from Bart Smods there. All you need to do is send him a little, uh, PM letting him know that you're interested in that you saw it here on the channel um, and then he'll uh, get it over to you and it's PayPal so it's pretty safe I mean it's not sketchy or anything so I love doing these so we do have cooldowns on these so you can't just constantly just spam them all the time um, so anyway we've got that now if you look down in the bottom left of your screen you'll see the Omega RS9 seat that's from GT Omega uh, I'm looking at go ahead and getting something here getting some screens uh, maybe selling off some of the things that I do have. So maybe something to look forward if you're looking for a good set of screens or looking for a couple or just one monitor. Uh, see if I can piece these things out together would be nice. But I've got all the original boxes and everything. So that's something we're looking forward to. And the car is, uh, the actual seat there is going to get us into kind of this driving sim rig. Plus be able also to use that in my flight stuff as well. So um, kind of looking multifaceted for that approach. The other thing is my, uh, the big faceplate for the, um, 
for the heavy haulers, the ASV button box. So we just got that purchased here last week, and that is now officially being made. So once they get it made, they're going to make some like nice pictures and they're actually going to formidably put it up on the website and you'll be able to choose that so even if you have an asp button box and you want to get another one you just you can just get the the, the face plate you don't have to get the full thing i didn't do anything funky to mine or anything crazy special it's all default from the asp heavy hauler side so if that's the way you set yours up then it'll work perfect and it'll have the ftg logo in the middle of it which is like super uh really nice uh, i'm excited to see that so special shout out there to evolve pc gaming for their stuff and shelton already getting in there with the two dollars super chance to thank you there shelton and also jimmy wrench subscribe to the channel earlier so thank you guys so uh all right well, let's tell you what man let's go ahead just waiting for the bass to drop all right, sorry, get a little, yeah, all right, so we got shift cam here, so what's up, what's good everybody, um, we've got our uh, Freightliner up in the house, so this Freightliner Classic, so this one is by John Ruda, he is, um, uh, he is actually, a, well, I don't say he's a newcomer, but he's got a, a Kenworth 900L, uh, which is really, really nice, he does the Scania for ETS2, he does like the Scania Torpedo, which is really nice as well, I don't have it, but the pictures look great, and he's also responsible for this Freightliner uh, Classic XL. Now, this is different than, say, Oddfellows Classic. They're similar because they're the same truck, but this one is just, it's just different. I mean, it just is. It's got a flat top, plus it's got a big dome aerodynamics on this. It's got the full roof cap, if you want that, or it's got the flat top, which that's why we call them flat times, too. So we got flat beds and we got flat tops on today. So uh, this is going to be nice. So... We've also got the Cat C15 up in here. We are in Mexico as well. Uh, looks beautiful. So I'll hop in here on the inside. Looks good on the inside, you can see there. So we've got uh, a couple of things here. So we'll show you where we're at, just give you some mapping and all that other good jazz, what we normally do. All right, so here's we uh, left off before in our kind of transport series here in San Felipe. So we're going to keep going down this El Rosario. We're going to pick up another trailer and continue on down. If we can get on down here into the bottoms, that's fine. I'm not going to pick off a bunch of different places in here because this one's pretty much good highway driving. So we can just really talk um, and we can actually really just move and groove this way. So should be good now. Um, hello, Jacob. How are you, man? <laughs> yeah, that's the truck, man. Uh, yeah, pig shit McBlurry. You might look at, uh, up up in your um, your watching McCullough because I'm shooting out at a 1080, uh, 1080 60 frames, so you may have up the quality on your end. Yeah, good there, Chris. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna see if I can. Let me. I'm gonna move this up so I can see your guys' chats a little bit easier. Let's see what this does. Hey, Lou, how are you, man? All right, let's try that. So we got the Cat C15 550 in here, for those that uh, want to actually really know. And we are in the Freightliner Classic XL, so you can see it's really nice on the interior. It's got a nice uh, bunk in there. Got the radios and stuff here. Powerful. I'm not sure what the radio station is we're listening to. But it's got nice lit uh, textures on there, nice wood textures on the dash. Now, this is a payware truck. I would, I do know that this truck was only $15. So some of these trucks get up to the $13, 40s and $50 range, which I think is, is probably on the absolute upper end of the price. There is some uh, options with this one as well. Wavy Turismo. Thank you there, Wavy. Appreciate it, man. So there are a couple things in there, but this one actually has some pretty decent, a um, couple different chassis. Uh, it's got multiple cabs, so it's it's actually a pretty decent customizable uh, truck. So if you're interested in that, I know Bud's going to drop out some of those links as well. So thank you there, Bud, for his moderating skills. And we are pulling out here into Mexico. Almost, almost ready. Postman, what's going on, man? Cameron, Cameron, what's up? Brandon, I'm good, man. Hope you're doing well, man. Let's see, where's my... And I think, uh, Jacob, it just, uh, I think it purged it because you didn't put a space after your period. Just speaking nonstop run-on sentences or it, it'll be all right, man. <laughs> Actually, it looks like, uh, it looks like this chat thing locked up. Glenn, subscribe to the channel. Let me, let me make sure my, uh, let me make sure, let me see what's going on here. Yeah, man, what the heck's going on here? Uh, no, I'm not lagging. Um, I'm actually doing pretty good. Uh, 
I don't know why it looks like all of my all right let me restart this because none of my chats or none of the stuff is updated here I can do this the old-fashioned way that's not a big deal just yeah well, there's no sound yet because I've, I've got it paused just hang on just a second here let's get this squared away We'll try we'll try re uh, re upping this again and see what happens. See if we get a good connection. Oh, if you were to rate ATS out of ten, what would it be? Uh, it depends on what you want it. Um, all right there, JPT, have a good man. Um, it depends on what you want to get out of it there, Adam Bond. If you want to look at it for um, a scalable game, um, if you enjoy the modding part of it, then I, I would say an you know a seven or eight. Uh, some would argue with me. On that, all right. I think I'm I am updated now. I'm not sure why it's successfully connected. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna pop this out just to make sure. Yeah. Okay. It is updating. All right. If if uh, if someone out there, one of you mods, will let me know if something happens and uh, it looks like I'm completely lost chat, then I will. Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Nice, Tristan. Yeah, it's a good one, man. I, I like this one. This was done by John Ruda, so. Uh, whenever, bud, whenever that, uh, or Ryan, whoever's in, in, uh, oh, shoot. I already got the ticket, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blow the, blow the light here. Uh, favorite game? No. Uh, I do enjoy the game. Oh, look at there. Bud Goodrow's in the room with me. Hey, bud. <laughs> Oh man, I'm okay. I'm gonna disconnect so he doesn't get weirded out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> He's probably like, uh, wait a minute. Gold Rush? Nah, Gold Rush never was. It never was my favorite. It was fun. It, it wasn't my favorite though. Mr. Donut, what's up? Randy Force, what's up, man? Uh, C15, 550. I do have a couple other sound mods in there. I'm get past the. Uh... Given the uh, realistic graphics mod, another kick. Uh, I can't say that I'm very happy with it. Artie, what's going on, man? Josh from Drain, how are you, man? Good to see you guys. Oh, it's alright, bud. Yeah, I, did, I do that with Monsoor in that channel all the time. <laughs> it's alright. Hey, it's Gavin. What's going on, buddy? I'm doing well, man. Hope you guys are doing well. We are in Mexico. We're headed, uh, we're on the Baja Peninsula side, so we will be headed our way towards, um, towards, where are we going to? Uh, Cabo San Lucas. Woo! Yeah, hopefully not modern day, hopefully not. So if you guys are wondering, trailer is uh, a bio, it is a buy trailer from uh, Bart's Mods. Bart does phenomenal trailer work, so if you do like a really, really good, good modder that's gonna do you right, Bart will. Um, I've got a few of his trailers and I've loved every single one of them and he's got an awesome tanker that I think the US guys are gonna absolutely kill for. Uh, it is really, really good. So this is his flatbed, obviously the step deck there, and I've got the Freightliner uh, Classic XL by John Ruta. This is not the Oddfellows one. Uh, this one has actually got the flat top, the turbo, turbo wing, and it's also got the full roof, and it's also got a mid roof with a big old huge turbo slash deflector on it. So uh, it is good. So anyway, guys are asking. I'll get Bud and those guys will start throwing out trailers and some of the other links you can get there. If you got questions, go ahead. Put them up in chat. And for those there, man, I'm, uh, I want to say too as well, it's uh, it's nice to be back with everybody. Uh, we uh, we had a little bit of a, a break. I got busy this weekend and uh, we had to do a, a big, huge thing of a church. We did, they had this huge convention um, and uh, man, we had, uh, had so many people at the church and it was like all day Friday, 13, 14 hours on Saturday, another full run on Sunday. So it was just, it was more than I anticipated. So that's where I was this weekend. So. Appreciate you guys. I actually got a few decent messages where people would ask you, hey, hope everything's okay. It's kind of unlike you to go for it for four or five days without streaming. So I appreciate those that reached out. Will they release them for free? No, probably not. Uh, probably not. 
Yeah, I think so, Chris. Uh, it's it's balancing. It may be the sound set that I have in here. Um, to be quite honest, I never really know anymore whether to tell people that my sounds in the trucks are, um, you know, actually in the truck or whether or not they're from my sound pack. But honestly, it's, you know, it's one of those things, man. Hey, Kevin, I know, man. I do remember you, man. Back in the Gold Rush days, man. You and I, I believe it was a crazy boater. Y'all both came in. Jimmy, what's up, man? How are you, man? Yeah, we'll eventually get back to some 19, man. Um, 19 just was not viewing well at all. Um, so, you know, we had to put our, put our eggs in other baskets. Since I'm limited on time, man. I am in high, actually. I'm in six high. Connor, how long have I been in the YouTube? Uh, a little over two years. Yeah, about a little two years and two or three, uh, I guess about three months. Two years and three months. Uh, it's probably, honestly, just because of my, um, honestly, the truck probably sounds pretty good because of the sound pack that's in it. Hey man, I know 15 bucks, man, it's the truck, dude. The truck costs $15. I mean, I was like, this is pretty awesome for 15 bucks. I mean, I, you know. It's good, the guy was very nice, very pleasant. It's got a, it's got a bunch of stuff with it. So, I mean, it's, it, it's cool. It's got some customizations, which make a difference. A huge, uh, I guess that'd be Pemex, Mexican uh, fueling. I guess that'd be equivalent to our, um, would be equivalent to that. Well, I guess around here, I'd say like a Conoco or something. Collie Race, yeah, man, it has been a while. It has been a, uh, it has been a while, man. Hope you're doing well. Good to see everybody. If I'm, if I'm missing too, all of my names are in red. What I'm looking at, I had an update, so uh, may not make any sense to any of y'all, but I'm trying to. If you guys answer, ask some questions and I miss them and they get off to the screen and stuff, feel free to throw them up here again. Yeah, Texaco. Yeah, but Texaco's been bought out, right? They're no longer a thing. <coughs> uh, I think it drives good, man. It drives like all the rest of the trucks. Um, I think it trying to think I, I'm going to do a build and drive on this to show you showcase this some more but since this was my first stream back you know I figured hey I'll just kind of chill and we'll finish some more of this Mexico trip um, but uh, but yeah I think uh, we'll do a build and drive with this truck this week man you guys can really see it in some action here I'm actually going to go ahead and bump myself up just a little bit Yeah, built-in beacons on it too. You know, it's got a couple of nice, really good uh, headache uh, toolbox racks there. It's got like the legit mud flaps, which most of most trucks like these don't have. It's a very, very, very clean truck. Very clean truck. Nice custom front end. Couple different bumpers. It's got a slew of uh, nice fog light additions, which are pretty nice. Yeah, a little bit. This won't be as bad as what we've done, but uh, yeah, well, it'll be, it should be nice. And different scenery than we than we normally than we normally do. Yeah, Chris, you should be able to do it. It'll need to be a pretty strong laptop, but yeah, it, it should be okay. Uh, well, they released Mexico. Well, these guys are uh, map modders. I mean, they've had Mexico in here for a while. Uh, but they've just released some new and redone some areas, so that's why we're taking some uh, taking some time to get back into it. What's up there, Cecil? How are you, man? Mexico without one of these right here. I'm gonna have to 
across the river. Thank you there, Trevor. Appreciate it, man. Clutch, what's up? How are you, buddy? Yeah, as they hit the signs, yeah. Let's go straight through it, man. I don't know, someone bought a shirt and someone, uh, two people bought stickers uh, this past week. So thanks to those guys that, that uh, bought a little bit of merch there. Appreciate it, fellas. I'm not sure who it was, but you can follow me on Twitter at Full Tilt, Full Tilt Gaming at YT on YouTube. Uh, send me a picture of the merch, man. We'll uh, give you a nice little shout out. Uh, shout out, I get my sound packs from the, um, I get them from the, uh, the forums. Uh, sounds pack 2.7 they get nice update files on there the guys are pretty good at them creek was it creek creek boom creek creek boom and this is the c15 cap 550 horse and it's 18 speed What's up, Anthony? How are you, man? <laughs> It'll come apart. <laughs> What's up, Josh? How are you, man? Uh, it's Matthew Verrier. Which one do I use? So I use the A plus B software. Um, so this one's on my Amazon page. So if you click the show more down there and then look down there at my Amazon link, that Amazon link has got this shifter in it. It's got an e-brake on it on the side, or uh, the engine brake, not an e-brake. Jake brake, I guess, would be the easy jake is what I was looking for. Uh, but it's a, basically just a uh, push button toggle. Uh, so I can activate the engine brake whenever I want to without flipping the switch or turning something on. But um, anyway, I've got that. This one's about $100 or $110. Uh, the Tech Affliction one is more American styled, but it's also about 40 or 50 bucks more expensive. So um, I'd elected to go with the one that's kind of a cross between the ETS and a um, ATS style. It's, it's a little more generic. It's not as specialized. It doesn't look exactly like Eaton Fuller, but I do have that on the Fanatec base. Um, so I used to do some drift rate uh, drift racing i used to do some drift and rally stuff oh boy no. and that's where i got the fanatec from so actually looks pretty I, mean, I won't say legit because I've never been to Mexico but this looks a lot different than I remember it so these guys have done a lot of work <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> yes uh, BD bus this is the paid one yes now this is the side that they'd already re already redone so this is not part of that paid area um, but yes this 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 one all should still be in the free part of what I'm driving on today uh, Freightliner has a Corn Auto Mod. Well, I mean, I know there is a Corn Auto Mod. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it, though. Um, it looks okay from the outside, but it's pretty elementary when it comes to the, the in, inside. What's up, Jenna? How are you? Every time I say that name now. Uh, any plans to get in the new Drift? You know, probably, man. I, I like playing those games and driving those games just for fun. Um, I was I was definitely a fan of Dirt Rally. Um, I was not a fan of the new one that they came out. And I was looking through and I saw Drift. I don't know, probably a couple of weeks ago, man. And I saw that. And really, there really isn't any other games like that. So I, I think, you know, with my setup and I've actually got a Drift wheel on this G29, I may give it a whirl. What's up there, Danny? How are you, man? Oh, well, thank you there, Midwest. Appreciate it, man. Uh, 
Ah, uh, do I like the W9? Uh, no, not really, Josh. I don't, I don't, I don't like any of those meme trucks. That's what I call them. Already bad enough, man. <laughs> What's going on, Scott? How are you, man? Yeah, that W, that that 900 long, man. It's it's a little too. Yeah, see, I don't like that one either, man. <laughs> Just big trucks. Uh, what do I like about the G29? It's price. You know, Donut, if you want to race with it, uh, I would say save up for the Fanatec. But if you're going to do this, man, if you're going to drive, um, you know, have fun with trucking and ETS, ATS, Farm Sim, the G27 or the G29, 920, man, those are all really good wheels for that. Relatively inexpensive. You can buy shifters that work with both of them. Um, oops, wait a minute. We missed a gear. Unfortunately, we don't have a really good horn. I don't think I put one on it. Yeah, I saw it, Josh. They uh, they sent me the updates in it, man. I've got I've got updates on. on about all of their trucks, man. Plus their new Volvo. I got the Renault. I got all their stuff, man. It's awesome. I am uh, probably going to start getting some of their stuff out, doing a little bit of reviews here and there on it, let people know what's what's going on with them, man. Passive pulls and throwing tools. <laughs> uh, oh, cost to cost. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, this is just uh, Viva Mexico. It's a free map. They do have a donation wear section now that's on it, uh, but yeah, man, it's, uh, it's it's a good map, man. I've always liked this Mexico map, and they've done some good optimizations to it, um, and I'm running a, a custom modded truck plus a custom modded trailer and a custom modded map, still 60 frames, streaming it, yeah, it's still running like a champ, so they've done a good job with it. Oh, oh yeah, there you go, Chris. Yeah, it's good, man. I mean, it's, it's simple, it's generic, and it's relatively inexpensive compared to some of the other options out there. Um, I really, really like the Almar shift, the guy from uh, that's on eBay. Um, but uh, dang, man, his shifters are expensive. <laughs> it's like, ugh. Yeah, Mexico skyboxes are totally different than the actual game, so you get such a different color over here. It's, it's actually really nice. Let's not do that one. Hey, look at that, man. There's not many, not many places on the, uh, the map of ATS where you can have a sunset look like that. And without making it weird, you know. I'll just cuddle up and have to sleep by the campfire. Oh, we hit a, hit a bump. <laughs> Lord. Nick, what's going on? I think I saw Jeff Zone in there, too. What's up, buddy? How are you, man? <laughs> tequila sunset. So we got a little bit of, uh, we should have a little bit of windy roads coming up. That'd be too bad. These roads are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, trailer's good, man. We're going to look at some more of these trailer mods as well. Uh, we're going to try to pick a load down through each city and um, try to pick some of the cooler loads. Somebody didn't quite make the turn there. Let's see, who was always in our convoys that wrecked a lot? There was always a couple guys, man, that slingshot everywhere. It's always so... <laughs> oh, man. Nick, I'm in one right now, brother. I am in one right now, man. Oddfellows Freightliner is pretty good, but you never know when it's going to be updated and if and, and when it ever gets updated. That's the only bad thing about uh, it's the only bad thing about that. Josh Train, where are we going? We are going to hang on. I would be able to told you. El Rosario, so that's where we're going. So we're not actually too far from it. So we'll hit this up. Then we'll, we'll just keep on trucking down uh, south. So we'll come back out this road. Then we'll keep digging south towards Cabo San Lucas. 
I doubt we make it there today, but uh, we'll get probably get fairly close because once you get out of here, man, it's a lot of good solid highway miles. Maybe have some dirt roads and some pretty cool stuff out here. Yeah, yeah, we, we did that, Scott. We did run that again. And look, the inside of this dash, man, is really nice. Like, the night lighting in this, this truck is, is good. You see the reflections around the insides of the windows, trailers, and then the dash lights and stuff here are, are pretty doggone legit. They're not up in your face, you know? Getting tired of the Free Viper? Hey, Nick, I, I'm with you, man. Uh, you know, Outlaws mod is about the same thing. It's it's based off of it. Um, but yeah, man, I the W not the uh, not the W900. This guy that did this Freightliner's also got a W900L that we're going to get. Now it's not the actual extended long version, uh, but I am going to go pick that one up because it looks good and it just got an update for 134. Plus this this truck right here sold me. This truck's only 15 bucks. So those that are looking for a brand new, like a good entry. Uh, pay work truck to get into that you know that you want it to be good and don't want it to be like crap I wish I hadn't have done that. This is really a good truck. It really is Seem a lot for price on. Yeah, I guess they are. What's up, Frogman? How are you, buddy? Jody, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, what they add on 134? Not much. Uh, they added a log trailer. They added a couple of roads. They, they added a couple of things like that in there. There was a lot of uh, fixes, uh, a lot of maintenance updates. 135 is going to be the big one. That's the one you want to get your hard, hard drive set in for. There are going to be a lot of code updates, a lot of gameplay updates. Um, might be when the new truck comes in, possibly Washington DLC comes out with 135. Um, so there's potentially a lot of stuff that could be on the, uh, could be on the horizon for 135. So you can get that hard drive fixed up for the man. Yeah, Midwest, it is, man. All right, here we are in the El Rosario Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Here we go, speed humps. See where are we going here? Whoops. All the fog lights and stuff come with it. So if you got other bumpers that are similar to this, the fog lights from this shirt uh, from this truck will actually work in those two, which is kind of nice. That doesn't always happen, but it is nice. Hey, what's up there, Michael? Yeah, man. Hey, man. Always get to change the scenery, man. We still drive trucks. I just can't drive them all the time in California. <laughs> Tacos. <laughs> all right. Let's go ahead and drop off here. Let's see. We're, of course, we're going to put it right there. That's all right. We'll uh, put it, see if we got our backing skills up like we did the other night, man. The other night was uh, something to behold, man. It was it was good the other night. I backed up like a madman the other night. It was good. It was good. Ryan, what's up, man? Yeah, Caden, we'll play some uh, when new stuff comes out, man. I, I just can't. Uh, Farm Sims 1, man, it, it, we didn't really get great views on it, and I have limited time to stream and little, limited time to um, to try to do this YouTube thing, so I, I really do have to, unfortunately, stick with really the things that really are getting good views and the stuff that people want to watch, um, and uh, people obviously wanted to watch and see a little bit more ATS, so yeah, that was just a decision I had to I had to make reluctantly. I enjoy Farm Sim, um, but, um, oh yeah, there's another... Uh, truck there by Bart as well, that cattle hauler. Y'all probably seen me pull that a few times. I forgot that one was in here. Alright, I have no idea if we're going to clear this front. Oh yeah. Ooh. 
Uh, yeah, I will try the new Freightliner when it gets updated. It doesn't work right now. I was actually going to drive that tonight, Josh, and then it, uh, yeah, it didn't work. And I was like, oh, well, guess uh, plan B. Y'all don't let me get away with nothing, man. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. That mirror is so tiny. <laughs> you know, actually, when it first came out of MTF, we were doing really good. And then all of a sudden, people went back to their old favorites of people that they've never stopped watching. And, and, and yeah, that, that's where it went. Um, all right, let's do this real quick. I am, let's see, we're 935. Let's go ahead. I'm going to make it daylight, then we'll pick another loadout from here. So let's uh, we'll do this. And we'll make it, what, 8 o'clock in the morning? There we go. All right, so let's uh, let's pick up again. Uh, job market, cargo market. Let's see what's up here. Let's see what we got now. Hopefully, we got some cool stuff out of here. So we've got Hay South, cool tractors, which those are like the Euro tractors. They're not really all that special. Corrugated pipes, cool. All right, looks like we're taking a load of hay down. Thirty-five thousand is what take us through Punta Prieta. And we get to see two cities. Well, that's cool. You know, they don't have to go uh, back across, so that works. And we're getting this out of where Bushnell Farms. That's not where we're at, so that's good. It's right next door, though. Ah, cab over. All right. Duly noted for this week, Durbike. Duly noted. Which cab over would you like, man? Well, I know we're limited on cab overs. We don't really have a lot, but I've got the Argosy. Um, I've got uh, I've got the FLB. I've got the Kenworth 200. I've got the Kenworth 108. Yeah, that's all I've got. Now oh, there you go, kill you. Yeah, that's fine, man. What's up, Steve? How are you? Doing FLB? All right. <laughs> and everybody's like, no, I need the Kenworth. Yeah, Kenworths are uh, the ones from RTA, so the uh, Aussie, Aussie style ones. They're good trucks, though. Superb. All right, I'll look. I'll look and see, man. We might. We might just do a cab over week, man. Both of those trucks have lots of customization options as well. They're pretty rich in the uh, customizing field. Oops. Oh, uh, the K100. Yeah, man, that K100. Eh, it's all right. It ain't. It ain't. I don't know. If it's not that good. All right, that's the one that's got the big old long, uh, big old long cab on it. All right, let's pick up some hay and let's take us down to Guerrero Negro. All right. Let's see where we going here. All the way in the back corner. All right. Yeah, there is a there is a K100. I don't know if it's been updated, man. That that truck's been a, it's been all around for a long time i can remember getting that truck like back in like 128 it's been around for quite some time and so we are in all payware gear tonight <laughs> i know everyone's like oh i thought it was gonna be free fortunately man this is like uh one of the best one of the best step decks for the the uh the payware side i think Let's see if I can back it up like this. See this thing in the... It is? Okay. I didn't tell if it's not. K100. 
can't see. Whoops. What's up, Kermit? Duran, Duran, Kermit H. Duran. What's going on, man? All right, so there's uh, forty thousand pounds of hay. It's a good looking load. It's really good looking. Yeah, it looks even better on the Freightliner, man. There you go. Heck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's good solid beacons on that truck. Looks good, man. All that made it for the engine stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I think water is from this uh, whatever this little pond is beside me. It looks like a slurry tank. Yeah, I think that's what it's from. And Bud's dropping some uh, links in there for the trailer as well as for the truck. So if you're interested, truck is about 15. I'm not sure, honestly, what I paid for this trailer. I have not purchased. I've got about a couple updates from Bart, but I have not. I don't remember what this trailer is on sale for. Uh, just send them a message just through Facebook and tell them you're interested in the truck. And uh, you just PayPal them. So still got some protection there. It's not like you have to meet them in a back, back hood alley somewhere. Alright, let's bust it on down. Let's see what we got here. Uh, trying to look at time, too. Oh, hello. Oh, one more. Let's get back in here for this next little bit of the uh, roads here. So. I like this to so nestle that GPS right up under the dash there. Of course, nice man. <laughs> yeah, speed bump. Yeah, yeah. It's more like speed jump, not a bump. At, at some point, it becomes a jump, not a bump. <laughs> What's going on there? Is that Chan? Chan Rosby? What's up, man? The game tributor. 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 What's going on, man? I love lamp. Stay tuned. I didn't know I had a brother. To meet up sometime. We can bust down this road since we've already been here. <laughs> can I post a link to my Twitter? Uh, it's at full tilt. Actually, Bud, if you, uh, I don't know if I got this one set for everyone. Uh, exclamation Twitter will uh, tell you what my handle is. Family, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's where I was going. Dilly dilly, what's going on, buddy? Yeah, man, it's a good truck, man. Produced by Mr. John the Bruda himself. Excellent modder compared to what I've seen. I like it because it's original and you don't see like a bunch of parts from other people's trucks, which is always a nice thing. What the truck link? Literally, just look up. He just put it in chat literally two minutes ago. It's on a cooldown, so it didn't just constantly get cycled through. Uh, also, is the liquid container a private or public? I can't find it. Mm. Liquid container. Mm, I'm not sure what you mean. There is a liquid container one, but I am... There is one on... I don't know if it... I don't think it was private. It's not on the Steam Workshop. 
I would have to go look. I know there was one updated to ATS Mods not LT. I don't know if it works with 134. If that's what you're, um, if that's what you're talking about. A C canister? Uh, I don't even know what a C canister is. Somebody might have to help me out on that. Y'all know what it's talking about. Miles, what's going on, buddy? How are you, man? All right, there, Mike. Hope you come back, man. So we are in Mexico, by the way, if you don't know where we're at. So we are in Mexico, so we'll be uh, headed down this way. Uh, here for the next little bit, we're going to be going down, uh, I guess we're about halfway through to Cabo San Lucas. So we're on the Baja Peninsula side if you haven't been down this way yet. I'll be fair about it. Sure there, Cascadia. I'll just send me a message, man. I'll test and drive stuff around. I don't, I don't mind. I do that with a couple other guys as well, and don't stream the stuff and don't put it out there. So, yeah, so whatever, man. Just uh, if you've got some things out there, just just let me know. <laughs> I don't know. Whoop! There's bump. I don't know, Mike. I got no idea, man. <laughs> yeah, they they always ride. I'm not exactly sure why, because I'm actually. 34 is actually the um, yeah, the limit, so I'm actually going over because they got it in kilometers down here. Well, 35 would be what 50 50 kilometers on this road. I guess that'd be about right since it's a curvy. Yeah, no good there, host player. No good. What's up there, William? 18 gears gaming shipping container. Oh. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, there is one, and I don't believe it's a payware. Um, I'll see if I can find it. We do. We'll pull that this week. I do know what you're talking about now. Almost had him, Chris. We got him at time. Uh, Ultronics, I was going to do it, but the, none of the stuff worked. Uh, well, I had done that, and then when I tried to go back in and then revamp some things uh, on the truck, I uh, decided that it was not going to work anymore. So. Evidently, it's going to need an update. I guess I could drive it as it was in its state, uh, but it did not like the trailer either. So both the truck and trailer that I had chose to do tonight, um, yeah, went out the window. All right, game. Absolutely, man. Well, thanks for stopping in, man. 5, 5.30 a.m. Wow. That Eastern European time. Well, thanks for coming in, man, stopping in. Yeah, we'll try not to there, Mike. And I'll tell you what, the trucks do drive slow on this road. Oh, we're going to have to pass him on the uphill. I don't know if we got it. <laughs> yeah, now you hit some of these, man. They'll, they'll put some damage on the truck, man, if you hit them too fast. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, it, Ultronics, man, as soon as... It, it may just be the trailer. Um, I just was running out of time. I was like, well, here, I know this stuff works, so we'll run this. Um, but if I get the truck driving, then, uh, then we'll still do it this week, man. Don't 
miss our, uh, all right, there we go. Now we're rolling. So we are on the Baja Peninsula. If anybody's just joining us, I hate to, like, be a broken record there. I'll just let you guys know where we're at, what we're doing. Um, so we got two payware mods, and Mr. Bud is throwing both of those links up in there. So if you guys are interested in those, I believe the truck is 15 uh, which is an absolutely steal price for a payware truck for ATS. Um, that usually uh, stuff that's 15, like that's in this caliber range, man. There's 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 stuff that's 10, 15 bucks, man. It, it's trash compared to this. This is really really good stuff. So anyway, this one's uh, we got this and we got the trailer as well. It's payware, uh, but it's Mac. If you're a fan of the Mac trailers, single step deck. It's nice. Couple different axle options, color options, toolbox options, you know, wheel options, all that good stuff. Bunch of different bumpers. Whoop, 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 whoop. Speed limits, yeah, I guess he's stuck in it right on 34, ain't he? We need to, y'all don't let me forget it. We need to stop and get gas. Don't hit the tumbleweed. We're all right. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, Steve, made my eyes water. We have the draft, yeah, you got me. Bump and trace. Get rid of that. Definitely gonna need to. Uh... All right, so here's the first town. So we probably can pick up some diesel here, more than likely. Hey Clay, yeah, so all right, so for those that are coming in, they're curious about the button box. So here's the story on that. So now I've bought it. So now they are gonna make mine and actually gonna put it ahead of some of the others that they were making, uh, which is super nice of them because they didn't have to do that. Um, but they are going to do that and get it so that they can make pictures and so that they can do all of that good stuff. So they want me to tell you guys, if you're interested in getting one with the FTG logo on it, or if you're interested in getting the faceplate, two things info for you guys is one, just wait on them to finish mine so they can make the pictures and then they'll put it up on the website. You'll be able to choose, uh, you'll be able to choose my faceplate. Secondly, if you're getting a faceplate and yours is not a custom faceplate, mine will not be a custom faceplate either. It is just the heavy hauler box. So if that's the one that you have, uh, that's what my logo will be on is the heavy hauler box. Um, so I hope that clears up both of those questions because I know that's not the first question that's been asked. So, um, so yeah, so there's there's the finish up on that. Alright. Alright, All right, so I guess that was it. Triggered the sound. Alright, even the gas gauge works. Very nice. Yes, the the diesel is good. Yeah. Here we go. Ah, I saw that mic. Yeah, I almost disliked the comment, but I was like, nah, nah, <laughs> let's keep it to myself. <laughs>
Oh snap, what I hit? Oh, I hit a rock. Good lord of my... Alright, on the road again. Next town, and a speed bump. Uh, you can, Chris, if you turn all of your stuff up. I personally can't stand it. It was cool when it first came out, and then after that I was like, yeah, no, nah, I'm sick and tired of this already. So basically, you can turn and, and do whatever feedback. So if you want it to be the engine, if you want it, if you want to feel the force feedback in the turns or the physics of the truck, all of that stuff's customizable. I just turned most of that stuff off because because I don't I don't like dealing with it. It's annoying to me because it just on the the G29 the, the the inside force feedback rattles a lot. So I just said, yeah, I don't I don't really care to listen to it. I don't wait too many things. Come on, come on. Uh, Chad, wow, uh, Chad, wow, Clay, yeah. Yes, we will eventually. Uh, just it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't getting viewed that well, man. We put a lot of time and a lot of effort, and I just have limited time, man. That's all it comes down to. Yeah, Sunset, I'm trying to figure out which, I don't know why you feel this disrespected. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if that's the Freelander Century Columbia I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll at some point, we'll do some uh, whenever they come out with some new deals here. There's some new actual game, game worthy stuff coming out, but try to do the mods to keep up with all that stuff, man. It just have uh, such limited time. And I, you know, it's been so long since I did Farm Sim that I don't really have a, a very good base of people that really want to watch Farm Sim. You know, it's kind of like once you get into that niche, you know, guys love who they love and, and they're not going to deviate from that. And it's just fun. I'll play some other, some, something else that I enjoy. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> That's funny, man. Uh, eventually, Scott, maybe. Uh, just haven't made a decision on that, man. I, if anything, man, I, I don't mind if we got together a couple nights or something and did a did a little driving around, see how it goes, man. Building drives. Oh, you love the chaos. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got a couple planned this week. We're going to do a build and drive on this one just so you guys can see all of the options and all of the... Um, you know all of the customization uh, to this truck um, and then uh, we've got a special request this week to look at a cab over so I'm going to make a decision between uh, maybe the Kenworth 108 or um, FLB possibly and that one's got a pretty decent amount of uh, you know stuff on it so we might we might can make an FLB work I've got some nice sounds for it uh, be nice if I had something like really something cool and then I don't know I mean you know whatever other kind of trucks we want to kind of run it across but we'll, we'll at least do one or two this week uh, no no problem there Midwest have a good man the Tay what's up buddy how are you man tickets galore Whew. Actually, you know, that's very, whoops. It's actually really nice scenery. I, Viva Mexico is actually really a good map. How, how many in chat are actually running Viva Mexico? How many of, if you're running it, put a one in chat. Just want to, just take a random poll because I'm going to get to a question that might, might determine whether or not I do a video on this. There you go, Chris. So how many, put a one if you're running Viva Mexico right now. I 
I, my guess, Bravo Gaming, my guess would be 135. That'd be my guess, but I could be totally wrong on that. <laughs> Chris is like, well, I will. <laughs> So how many um, have tried it but have never gotten it to work? Just put a two in chat. If you've tried it but you just couldn't get it to work. Or you had no idea what to do. Uh, yes, I have their sunset. I have. What day? Normally we try to do on Mondays, Tuesdays. I mean Mondays, Wednesdays. Fridays and Saturdays. Um, that doesn't always happen just because uh, just life gets in the way sometimes. But I try at least every other day to do some streaming. And if I can, like tomorrow, if I can stream tomorrow, I'll stream. And I won't, I won't stick it quite to a schedule. But I do always try uh, to put something up and let you guys know when a pre schedule event. So um, if you're in the afternoon sometime, you look, hey, let me pull up this channel and see if FTGs are going live tonight. Normally, I'll have it already scheduled. And you, oh, okay, sweet. He's going live tonight at 10. I'll, I'll be sure to be around by then. You know, whatever, whatever you say to yourself. That seems like a swell time. I believe I'll tune in to see what's going on. Uh, I'm excited for new trucks, man. I'm always excited for new content. I don't even care if the content sucks. Because <laughs> normally, most of the time, when new content comes out, they usually add something in the game that makes it better for the modders, something they can use. So I'm always excited to see new stuff come out, even if it sucks. I kind of picked the, the F2G colors. All right, so they got this one. All right, be stuffing way over there in the corner. All right, let's see how we want to do this. Let's um, this gonna be on my far blind side. This is gonna be a toughie here. All right, let's do this. Let's um, yeah. Yeah, I think <clears throat> yeah, I think they're normal. Let's see, let me check one thing here. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's see. I just want to check time. Don't want to do. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Yep. So that's it, man. That I was maybe do about an hour on this since we were just doing trailers and flatbeds and stuff. So here we are in Guerrero Negro. So I will, um, we'll start on this. Well, I have a couple of building drives this week. So if I can, um, I will do my best to run over. Let's, and we'll pick something up. I've also got some custom, um, skins. I'm waiting on some permission from a guy that did some skins for ETS, and I've been able to convert those and offer those as free mods or free skin mods. Uh, so I'm gonna see, if I get permission from him to do that, um, all credits, of course, go to him, and I'll just have the conversion for it. But anyway, I'm looking to see that. 
Um, and then I will uh, at some point maybe be able to shuffle some of these awesome skins that this guy did um, over to you guys. But I'll have to wait until that. So that may be a build and drive on the Outlaw truck that we may do sometime later this week because um, everyone loves the 389s. Well, we really need to do like a big time custom one with a lot of uh, new style uh, options to it. We always kind of go the old school route on it. So I'd like to go new style on it. And then also cab overs this week. Everybody wanted to do some cab overs, so I think we can probably make that happen this week. And then I've got some other recordings that I really need to get done. And now that things have finally slowed down from this weekend, uh, I feel like maybe I can hurry up and get those done this week. So anyway, a couple of things just that's coming in. Uh, it's just coming in. It's been it's been a busy week. So thanks everyone for coming in, Andrew. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah, I hear you, Miss Snow Day. What Snow Day? I don't even know what those are anymore. <laughs> So anyway, that's usually when uh, usually when we got those, man, that's when the kids are home, and that means no ATS day. So anyway, yeah, Chad, you can hit me up, man, but I gotta I gotta run off here, man. I'm gonna try to do some other stuff tonight. Um, it's it's been busy here. I've got some things around the house that I actually need to catch up on. So, uh, but surely go ahead and hit me and send me a message, and I'll I'll check through them. I've I've got a, quite a few that I need to kind of get through anyway. So. Um, anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming in. Sorry we had a, a little bit of a hiatus there for a few days, um, but appreciate some of the nice messages you guys sent. Just checking on, make sure everything was okay. Um, but uh, other than that, man, thank you guys for all your support here, and uh, we'll be back here in the next day, or at least maybe tomorrow, or maybe in the next day here to do some stuff uh, here with ATS again. And also, if you're wanting to see some ETS, throw a like up on this. Uh, video send me a comment or something let me know i'm thinking about maybe rolling a few ets just to see how it does test the market out a little bit on it you guys have said you're interested in it before um uh, but uh, but I, I think maybe we could run some of that stuff if you guys think and you like it said hey yeah sure well, why not something different um and i might even be able to find if we can do a few of these trucks over there so you could still drive an american truck just see some different scenery so Anyway, uh, I guess I will see you guys here on either tomorrow or the next day whenever we get, uh, but just come back to the channel sometime in the later afternoon, check and see if we've got something scheduled here, and then we'll get things rolling on down the road. So anyway, appreciate it. As always, guys, we'll see you here in the next video. We'll see you. Peace.